What's up you guys? Welcome back to the channel here. We are today going to be installing a product from East Detailing uh, Steering Wheel Company. They have provided a lot of stuff here for me. So basically what they do is they make uh, like a re-thread kit for your steering wheel to cover your steering wheel if it's worn out and such. Um, rather than replacing your steering wheel, they pretty much like re-grip it, I guess you would call it. Um, so they cover with a whole cover, uh, you'll get thread, um, but basically every order is custom made to order. So that means that every order that you send through does take a little bit longer time than what most products would where they can just ship it out immediately if they've had it in stock. They custom make one per order, so you can customize it with carbon fiber, with the center tracer on the top of the steering wheel, different thread colors, pretty much anything that you can imagine, I'm sure that they could do. So we are going to be installing that today and we'll kind of give you a run through of what's in the bag and what you're gonna expect. So pretty much in this bag, if we open it up, yeah, I know you can't see my face, so I apologize. Figure you guys might try to look at the product in my face anyway. But in the bag, if we do open it up, first thing that we're gonna see is basically an instructions manual. The manual itself is pretty intense. They do have a ton of steps, and we'll kind of walk through those as we go here, just so you guys can know what we're talking about as we're installing it. But first, look at this instructions uh, book, pretty much, um, is pretty crazy. I mean, they kind of go through every step along the way. The back side of it does tell you how to stitch, me, I've never done any stitching in my life ever, so I have no idea how to do it. So they give a very nice instructions manual on how to do that. So once you guys get the kit, you open it up, you'll be able to get a good idea. Their pictures are pretty detailed on that. Next in the kit, we've got the actual steering wheel cover itself and everything that you're going to need. So thankfully enough, whenever you do custom order these, you can Pick whatever thread color you want. I chose red because I, my car is red and I think it's gonna look good. So you've got that. You've got a little, it's not even a pry bar, but it's to tuck the corners into the steering wheel without damaging it. So it's plastic, it is pretty soft, so it shouldn't damage it, but still be easy with it, of course. You've got double-sided sticky tape in there, and that's what's gonna grip actually to the steering wheel. And then of course, another thing of thread. And then I think we got a thimble in here as well. Okay, and actually it does come with a needle, so that's good. So we've got a thimble, so we can stick on our fingers so you don't prick yourself, I guess, as you're going through it. Uh, I think that's what that's for. And then the actual steering wheel itself, I have custom done mine to be in carbon fiber. I don't know if you can see that from the angle that we're at right now. Um, and then the center tracer, I've got a red tracer in that, so at the very top of the steering wheel, whenever it's over it, that's top dead center on the steering wheel. So it's all done very well. Inside of here, an F and a B, that's front and back. So you can tell which side of the steering wheel is gonna be the front of it and which side is gonna be the back of it as well. Overall, the quality is freaking great on these things. The carbon fiber is very nice. The product feels good, the stitching's nice. So I'm digging this product so far. In regards of stitching, what it's basically gonna have you do as it wraps around the backside is your stitching that you've got. It's gonna be basically like so. And your stitching that you've got is gonna be going from one thread to the other side of the thread, back and forth, all the way down and through. The double-sided sticky tape portion of it, the part that I was confused about on the directions, it says, do not stick double-sided sticky tape to the edge of the steering wheel. Now, edge or, or edge of the cover, sorry. What I thought that meant was do not stick it to the edge of the actual cover itself, so don't actually put that double-sided sticky tape on the edge of the steering wheel cover. So, like, so. But what it's actually talking about is the side of the steering wheel, so we're talking dead center of this whole patch here. So you don't want any tape on that, because that's what your hands are gonna do and you're gonna want it to look more conformed and actually go towards the steering wheel itself. So don't put any tape along the center, is what it's talking about, and by that they mean edge of the steering wheel, but you can put tape up too close to the edge. I don't know if I'd wanna go towards the edge of the stitching, but, but to the edge of that all the way down and across in multiple sections, just so it's got a good grip on the steering wheel. So we're basically just gonna be installing this tape in here. Uh, we do wanna make sure we leave 
course the side that is going to be making contact with the steering wheel itself we just want to make sure we're leaving that on here for now so the white side of the tape so I do recommend using a pair of scissors to cut the tape that way we're not trying to rip it and ruining the tape as well instructions say that as well so I'm going to start laying the tape here like I said we're not going to go down the center section but all the way through the edges of it just so we get good adherence to the steering wheel I'm not going to show you guys the laying down tape for the next five minutes that I'm doing this just so you guys don't get bored. I'll lay down a couple pieces and we'll jump forward to the end. So I'm basically just going to be laying just nice small sections, nothing too crazy on it. All the way down and around. We will want to make sure that we do clean the steering wheel as well so the tape, once we lay it down, does stick to the steering wheel. If not, with all the grease on your hands and such, which you may not think that there's much, but I guarantee when you wipe down the steering wheel, it's probably going to be pretty gross. But... I don't want to go to the very edge of the material, but just enough to where it's going to stick through it the whole time. So we're going to continue this down the whole line here, other side as well. All right, now that we're done with the taping here, you can kind of get a gauge as to what I did. So through the whole thing across the edge, we've got tape. Um, I will say, if you can see the edge here where it goes from a darker color to a lighter color, those are the parts that's gonna be tucked under and into like the edges of the steering wheel. I'd probably say not put any tape on this just so you can get good tucking without it trying to stick on you while you're tucking it. It's not been too bad, just you know, took probably three or four minutes to get the tape across the whole edging here. So first step done with the tape. Next, we're gonna go towards the steering wheel and we'll jump into the Evo now and we'll get this going. Now that we're back in the car, the next step is to get the turn, <laughs> is to get the steering wheel turned 180 degrees. So we want it upside down. I don't know why, that's just what the instructions want. Obviously they've got their reasoning for it. My battery is disconnected right now, so we've got nothing going on. So turning will be nice and easy. Steering wheel upside down. I'm gonna leave my key turned forward um if your battery is connected you may not want to do that just so it doesn't run the battery down there is also a lot of people actually taking the steering wheel off to do this um if you've got tooling to do so awesome i do but i'm just gonna do it as if you know we were sitting at home don't have the tooling to be able to take the steering wheel off so we're actually just gonna leave it in place as we're doing this so it does want us to place the steering wheel cover on now remember we on this steering wheel cover itself it does say f for front b for back so we want to make sure that we do have that positioned on correctly give this a flip -a here and it's probably going to be a tight fit just because it's meant to be uh, exact fit onto the steering wheel now if anything did get out of alignment we can adjust that but now it wants us to return the steering back to center after you get the cover on so the biggest thing here now is making sure like on my steering wheel i've got the 12 o'clock position marking at the top making sure that that is dead center if not we can basically just give this a nice twist and this is probably where if the steering wheel was off and you had it laying on the ground it might be easier to grip that a little bit I've got a nice center bolt on the center of my steering wheel here so we can give that a good gauge as to where that's at and kind of feeling around just to make sure that everything's going to be where it wants it. I think we're actually pretty good right now. Once you've kind of got everything in place, now it wants us to tear the double sided adhesive tape off after we've got that position down where we need it to. Alright, so now that we've got all of that double sided sticky tape off. Try to bring the camera over here so you guys can see. So at this point, your guys' steering wheel should look like so with the double-sided adhesive sticky tape off of there all the way around. We are pretty lined up as to where it should be steering wheel-wise, or we should be nearly 100%. So we've got the red marker at 12 o'clock position ready to go for us. So basically it wants us to stick in the three o'clock, the nine o'clock position, the six and the 12. So we're gonna start off with just those four corners. So basically we can bring it in. I don't know if you've ever wrapped a vehicle or not before, but that's kind of gonna be what it's going to be like. Um, Cause with it being round, we're basically gonna be stretching into each area. So we lay this stuff through there, it's basically gonna tighten everything up for us. On each area in between those, cut those sections in half. So we're gonna stick half of that section down and then we're going to work our way half from there as well. So once we get that half in, 
on each corner. I'll kind of go in here. So once we get that half stuck right there, then we're going to work from here in and here in as well to the center of that. So we're basically cutting each thing in half each time or each section in half each time, just so then we can bring it all to the same section. So we are officially done with this step of applying the tape down. So don't be afraid of like the wrinkles across because as we're stitching those up, that'll kind of pull everything in. So we just want everything to be just nice and laid down for now. The tape just helps it to grip a little bit better. And then as we're stitching each section, um, then that's when it's gonna pull it all together. So especially in like the leather sections, it's not so wrinkly as much as it is a carbon fiber because now we've got a compound curve going where we're curving down and then we're also curving across. So don't be afraid of those wrinkles there. Dude, look at the glitter in that. <laughs> you see that? I don't know if the camera can pick that up or not. Dude, that's sick. <laughs> look at that. That's very sick. Yeah. All right, so now comes the fun part where we begin stitching. And I'm just gonna start here. I don't have any fucking clue when it comes to stitching, so. Obviously, we've gotta thread the needle first. Do we tie a knot for the needle? <laughs> uh, I've got a thimble though, I know that, so I don't prick my finger. So we've got the thimble, we've got the needle. Do I? All right guys, so we're finishing up for the night here. Um, I'm basically uh, halfway done at this point. What we've got now is we've got the bottom two portions stitched up. So we've got the top still loose at this point, but right now it's about nine o'clock. I did stop and get some dinner. So total wise, I'm about three hours in at this point. Total for laying the adhesive down to getting everything started. So we've got this plastic clip back in place here. What's left over, like the leftover material here that's, that's going over the edge is a bit much. So I might have to trim that down just a hair, but we'll see if we can get that tucked. But the stitching overall looks super nice. Um, for not really doing this before I figured this was gonna be way harder and it's more of just a, a tedious type thing because you've got to weave in and out across to the bottom flip back around and weave back in and out all the way again to the top here so I mean it's not terribly difficult it's just really time consuming and that's the biggest thing about this is you have to have the time to devote to this um, if I would have started earlier in the day, it would have definitely been done. However, I kind of wanted to start later. That way I can sleep in a little bit today. So it's not the shortest thing. It's not the shortest of things to do. It is definitely very time consuming so far. So we're going to knock out the next bit tomorrow. So we're going to jump forward to tomorrow to get this knocked out so I can show you guys the finished product. Thanks for hanging along this long. So off to tomorrow. What's up guys? So we are actually two days out. I said I was going to work on it yesterday. But I didn't. I worked on it today. I had actually been loading up Israel's GTR off the trailer over to his parents' house. We're going to be doing a twin turbo swap on that. The original turbos on it have actually just completely disintegrated internally. So we'll actually have some videos going up of that. But let's get back to the regular scheduled stuff that we've got going on here. So I've actually just finished up the steering wheel. It was actually too hard to figure out how to stitch while trying to film at the same time and not bore you guys. So I just went ahead and jumped to the end just so you guys can see the finished product and how the st stitching is supposed to be. Um, I did screw up one section of it so I had to kind of backtrack and then go forward again. So you just kind of have to pay attention as you're going. You kind of just want cross X's going across it. So on mine, you can see how it was X's all the way up and through it. That's about how you're gonna want it there all the way through. And then same with the top all the way around. But I am super excited on how this has turned out. I mean, it is, oh man, we're just can't explain how this thing is. I mean, for real. If you were here looking at it, I mean, it's just a world of difference. My steering wheel was pretty well worn out. The rubber was kind of peeling up off of it. So this brings it back to uh, better than new, in my opinion, because we've got carbon on here now and, and the little 12 o'clock red stitching. So I'm whew, ease detailing. Appreciate you guys on what you've done. I appreciate the time and effort that you guys put into making such great products, getting it out to me uh, as quick as possible, especially being the fact that every order is custom made to order. I need to reiterate that because it's not going to be sent out same day. Uh, you can't expect a couple weeks to be made and then sent out to you. 
So shipping is not like boom, boom, you know, fast to you, but they do care about their work based on how I'm getting this product here. I mean, it is, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, it speaks for itself here. The carbon, I don't know if you can even see the carbon stitching on it very well. Let me see if I can get my flashlight on my phone over to it, but the stitching has some like sparkles in it. So I don't know if the video does it any justice, but you can kind of get it. You can see a little bit of glittering there on the right side, but the carbon is just, man, look at that. I mean, just look at that. For anybody else that does have any type of factory steering wheel on their car, just go visit easedetailing.com. See if they've got a product made for your steering wheel. If not, feel free to shoot them a message. I'm sure that's something that they can definitely do for you. Aftermarket steering wheels are going to be a thing of the past with this stuff right here. I mean, it's just, it's great. Appreciate you guys tagging along. I can't wait for the next video to come out. We're going to be finishing up the Evo. I've actually got the cylinder head off of the Evo right now. Uh, so we are figuring out problems that I had after doing a turbo swap and injectors and finding out we had a bad head gasket. So those videos are gonna be coming up very soon. I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me, but we're going to be starting on this build and this steering wheel is the first step. Once again, eastdetailing.com. Appreciate everything you guys do. Feel free to hit that subscribe button underneath. Hit the bell button to keep up to date on the notifications for the next uh, GTR build as well as my build. We've got Gavin's Evo over the winter time as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on. So stay up to date. We'll see you guys on the next one. Appreciate you guys coming along. Lately I've been living like I can't take a loss.